Hey everyone, Mac here from Minard's Leisure World and today I'm excited to show you the all new 2021 Reflection 150 Series 240 RL. This is a half ton towable couples coach fifth wheel that I am so excited to bring to you today. So let's start in the exterior, talk a bit about it and then we'll work our way indoors. First thing you'll notice up front on the nose cap is a lot of automotive paint. That's right, Grand Design's making a move to try and eliminate as many decals as they can and this is a common area where decals fade. So all paint on the nose, really nice, super sharp. They've also changed the pin box on these 150 series models to be a pivoting pin box. So if you have a short box truck, you're gonna gain all this extra clearance once we pull the pins out the back. Uh, if you need a more in-depth ex explanation, just ask, we'll go through that with you. Coming down the campsite here, you'll see a brilliant white fiberglass exterior. This is actually a Lamalux 4000 product, which is very, very nice. This is currently the best fiberglass you can get on the market. All of the fifth wheels are gonna be coming with dual 30 pound propane tanks and pass-through baggage compartments. These are very well insulated baggage compartments. They also come with their own designated heat ducts. You can see in here a few accessories too, such as our cranks mounted on the wall, the uh, battery disconnect, some lights, and on the other side, the Nautilus uh, water management system. So we're gonna take a quick look over there. Um, but first I wanted to show off this extra power outlet here as well. This is a f one of my favorite features. If there's one thing you can't have too much of, it's campsite power. They even added a hatch here so you can drop a cord through. Grand Design is just thinking on all new levels that I haven't seen anybody else consider. Coming down to our entry door, two things you're going to notice. First thing is the solid steps from LCI. Love them, everybody does. These flip right up inside for transit and they eliminate all step bounds. The second thing is that the door is slightly wider than your standard RV door. This is kind of a common theme for Grand Design. It's just a few inches, but it does make a big difference when you're going in and out with armfuls of trays of food. The 12 volt power awning has a nice bright white LED light strip underneath it, along with the light up LED outside speakers. Uh, this is great, creating a good atmosphere in your campsite when you have guests along with you. Uh, we've also got a spot to set up a TV with a coax outlet and power, as well as a cold water spray port in case you need to clean up the campsite really quickly. Still, of course, a tandem axle trailer like you'd expect. Those tires even come with a warranty. Just ask us about that. Uh, another cool thing is that this trailer is coming ready to go with the uh, LCI tire pressure monitoring system. At the very rear on our campsite is our outdoor kitchen. And this is something really rare to get in a couple's coach. Uh, but they snuck one in here for you, nothing crazy, just a little outdoor fridge that's 110 volt, some extra power access, and a few cubbies to stash other items. Um, still giving you a nice thick baggage door on it though. They don't want any drafts getting in, still doing the nice magnetic catches and full metal slam latch. So they never skimp on the product, that's for sure. At the very rear of the coach, three things I want to mention. Uh, first thing being the fully mounted ladder. That way you can get up on that fully walkable roof. Uh, you can maintain that membrane, which comes with a 12-year manufacturer's warranty. We also have the Furion backup camera prep on this model, so you can get the observation system aftermarket from us. We'll help you hook it up, and then you can see behind you when you're driving. And on the bottom is our two-inch receiver with four flat wiring. Uh, you can use that just for accessories, but it is rated for towing up to 3,000 pounds. And with the short length of this fifth wheel, um, you're well within that range to be able to legally tow tandem if you wanted to put a bike behind here, uh, maybe a boat, whatever you wanted to tow behind you. So last thing before we go inside the trailer, we're going to talk about the Nautilus and then a few other things. So the Nautilus here is going to control all of your plumbing. This is where your water hookups are, all your sewer dumps, everything like that. If you want to winterize, it's all done from here. Basically, you match these valves to the chart and the trailer does it all for you. Genius system, you just can't go wrong with that. Now, if we switch sides really quickly, um, I want to show you some other controls. First one being this touch screen right here. This is for our auto level system, nothing too crazy and new here, but right beside is going to be this, uh, they call it a transducer for the TPMS system. So all of the upgraded caps on your tires are gonna send the PSI signal to here, which then relays it to either your phone or the alarm monitor that's included with your coach. This is great for long distance traveling, and I mention it on this one because a short fifth wheel like this can really rack up the miles fast. So, it'll alarm you if the tires get too hot, the PSI gets too high, or if the PSI gets too low. Wow, and that's coming from factory. 
All right, so we just stepped foot inside the 240RL, and this floor plan feels pretty familiar to a lot of us here. Uh, first thing you'll see when you walk in are some really great storage cabinets right to your left-hand side, kind of angled so that it doesn't eat up too much of your walking space. Your main controls are going to be hidden behind one of the cabinet doors, so they're hidden away, not tempting to touch by little fingers. And uh, everything's going to be right there, just like you normally see. Um, Otherwise, really great storage. It's all kind of a grab-and-go, easy stash spot. You're not going to be putting big towels in there or anything, but great for keys and bug spray and all that fun stuff. Right to my right here is our entertainment stand. Um, wonderful dresser-style hutch going on here, so lots of great storage solutions for organizing your things there. And up above, nice, deep, big, beautiful cabinets. Um, they're not scrimping on outlets or charging ports or anything like that either. Uh, all Grand Design units are going to have a minimum of 14 outlets throughout the trailer. That's the most I've ever seen. Switching it up just a little bit, we're going to look at the only slide on this model and that's where our U dinette is located. Uh, Grand Design always does a great job of these U dinettes. These back cushions here with the fabric showing are reversible to vinyl. You can see the window coverings are upgraded to the uh, roller shades here, similar to what they use in their high-end solitudes. I really like that, and they do a great job of blocking the light. The dinette, of course, breaks down into a bed, and there's storage underneath all of the bench seating as well. They give you these nice cabinet doors for easy access. Right beside the dinette is going to be our pantry. Grand Design pantries are good too. Um, these guys always do the full built-in shelves, and if you notice, they set them back a little bit in case you need to stand some tall, skinny items in there, like, oh, maybe a broom or a brother-in-law, whatever. You can just stuff them in. Carrying on around, we're going to look at the back of the coach, and here you'll see our theater seating. These do recline. They're very comfortable, and they've got a clear view of the entertainment stand. That huge TV there is perfectly sized. I think it's the right distance. It's a really great setup. Don't believe me, come see for yourself. But these theater seats are also equipped with some bonus features. They've got heated seats, they also have a rumble feature for their massage, and then they're also light up. You can see, really fun. Behind that, another big window, which you saw from outside, but you get this big 360 degree view with all these windows here. So if you're backed up onto a nice lake or something, gorgeous. On our campsite, we've got this huge stretch of countertop, and back in this corner here is where they hid that fridge. So you can see it's not really wasted space. But lots of counter space, another big farm sink, it's an undermounted one with residential faucet, and all hardwood cabinetry all throughout this coach. Lots and lots of drawers too. Our cooktop is a three burner Furion cooktop. They've updated these to ignite from the igniter in the oven. You don't have to use a barbecue lighter anymore and they actually have a dual night light feature. You can do just the dials, or you can actually use the oven light too. And then, like always, they still do the bifold glass cover too. A lot of people like that just for increasing their space. Above our cooktop, you'll find your regular vented Furion microwave. Uh, this isn't a convection microwave. We found that the value is better spent elsewhere on these coaches because most people just didn't bother to use them that way. Um, but still a beautiful big microwave. You're going to have no problem fitting stuff in there. It's all stainless. Uh, Furion makes a good product. Last but not least for the kitchen, we're going to talk about the fridge. And there's some cool stuff below it. The fridge here is an 8 cubic foot refrigerator. This is by Dometic. It's a two-way, so it runs on propane and 110 volt electricity. And you can see Grand Design outfitted it with their own custom panels. So it really ties it together with the rest of the coach. Below this, we've got a couple of drawers though, and they threw in some goodies for us. First up is a wine rack. I mean, who even thinks of that? And below that is our doggy dish set. They're just trying to make it the best they can be. And so we just stepped foot upstairs and we're gonna show you the bathroom. Uh, always using a pocket door and you'll see the foot flush porcelain bowl toilet. Um, they're showing us a, a really great big shower there with the triple pane glass doors and our mirrored storage cabinet above the toilet. Panning to the right, you'll see the mirrored medicine cabinet and towel rack. Below that is our sink and vanity with storage underneath. So now we've made it to the very front. This is the master bedroom of the 240 and uh, very consistent for Grand Design. They're always doing the full queen mattresses. Um, this year, they've actually signed a contract with Serta, so this is a Serta mattress, not just the no-name generic camper mattress you normally get. So if you wanted to upgrade that, maybe you have a better chance of getting a good night's sleep. They've padded the headrest again, 
I'm always like that. And they've given us these really great bedside tables, each with their own reading light. There's also these 110 volt outlets on either side that are easy to miss along with this shelf. Now the shelf cuts away, so you're not gonna hit your head on it as you're getting in and out of bed, but it's the perfect size to put a phone and there's USB chargers in the middle, one for each. So genius design, it just all works flawlessly. Up above our regular cubbies, this whole compartment up here is just pass through and then the sides are private. Just behind me here is going to be our TV backer location with all of our hookups. Uh, one other thing I want to mention is that we're outfitted with the WineGuard 360 system. So that's a TV antenna, but also preps you for Wi-Fi in your trailer. If you want to learn how to have your own Wi-Fi in your trailer, just ask. We'll, uh, we'll show you how. For more storage in the coach, they've added in this second wardrobe. Genius design. Up top, it's all hanging space, and then this bank of drawers underneath. Um, each of them just as big as the last on their own rollerball glides. So you can see up top in the hanging portion, we've got the bar across, it's well lit, and it goes all the way back. So really great. If, you've, if you're hanging shorter things, like just shirts and that sort of thing, you've still got a lot of height here to stack things on the bottom. So um, you might be able to work out your own drawer thing in here as well. Uh, it just a lot of storage. They really worked it in in every corner they could. Well, I'd like to thank everyone for coming through this walkthrough with me of the all new Reflection 150 Series 240 RL. There is a lot to cover on this coach because it's a new floor plan for this company, but as you can see, it's a killer layout, perfect half ton towable size, and it's ready to hit the road and tour anywhere. Some key points to remember, Reflections are one of the best insulated products in the industry. They also have the largest holding tanks out of anyone in their class. For a trailer this size to be so well built with the best construction in the industry is very rare. So if you wanna come see this reflection, experience all the benefits of a higher end product, we'd love to show it to you. If you wanna learn more about the other products we sell, check us out online, minorsleisureworld.com. And if you'd like to see more walkthrough videos, follow us on YouTube. We have two locations now to serve you better, one in Watrous and here in Weyburn, Saskatchewan. Thank you.